गुड मॉर्निंग गाइज टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज वाई फाई आर टी टी सो द कंटेंट्स आर लाइक दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल लुक इन टू वट इज वाई फाई आर टी टी देन हाउ डज इट वर्क एंड वट आर द डिवाइस इट सपोर्ट्स एंड फाइनली फाइन टाइम मेजरमेंट वट इज वाई फाई आर टी टी so basically this uh, wifi rtt is a feature which is uh, added to the 802.11 protocol uh this protocol this is also known as uh, 802.11 mc if you if you look at the purpose of wifi rtt so the purpose main purpose of this is it is allow to devices to measure the distance to nearby wifi routers and uh, determine their uh, indoor location with a precision of 1 to 2 meters so basically it's a time measuring protocol for indoor purpose if you have ever used google's find my service uh to know the last position of your smartphone so you can probably already see whether need of wifi rtt comes so the google has added this support for uh, this technology in android 9 that is called pi how does this wifi rtt work so basically the main key point to understand this wifi rtt is the round trip time in short we call it as rtt quite a few time we refer it as round trip delay also so here is the definition of rtt this is the network round trip time which is nothing but the length of the time it takes for a signal to be sent plus the length of time it takes for an acknowledgement that signal to be received so basically one sec signal will be sent from the source to destination and the acknowledgement will come from the destination to the source and the total time is nothing but a round trip time the users of android p smartphones no no need to be connected to the wifi router server for wifi rtt to work because only the smartphone is used to determine the distance what kind of devices support wifi rtt so from the technical standpoint all the 802.11 ac routers should support wifi rtt if you will do a firmware upgrade but unfortunately what happens manufacturers don't want that they want to make some money so what they do is they can provide us with the firmware upgrades but instead of that simply because companies don't make money out of that they don't provide it so they will go with a brand new product so that money will they can sell the product and uh, they can earn money so the google has promised to add this support for this particular feature that is wifi rtt to the google wifi mess routers so here i have listed on some of the devices which supports uh, wifi rtt for this wifi rtt network certified products are listed here you can see so to check wifi rtt supports you need to look up whether your wifi router comes with any of this wifi rtt network certified products so here couple of uh, 
answer given here this is broadcom 802.11 ac accurate access point intel marvel mediatek qualcomm and realtek here you can see i took this references from the internet only uh, basically i don't have any idea really this uh, uh, routers are supporting or not but for reference only i took this information from internet Uh, what is fine time measurement? This concept, this fine time measurement, FTM in short, we call. This is introduced in uh, 802.11 MC. Fine time -o resolution used for better round trip or distance estimation. This is the basic mode of this. A round trip time, this also called round trip delay, is the time required for a signal pulse or packet to travel from a specific source to a specific destination and back again, which I told you before as well. So, our ultimate aim of this particular feature is to find the distance between two devices can say between a station and AP, between AP and station, a yeah, station and station, anything. So how does it calculate the distance uh, between two devices? Here are the formula. This is the round trip time is computed as follows. Here you can see round trip time equal to T4 minus T1 minus t3 minus t2 so here the picture is like this let's say there is a phone and uh, there is access point so in order to measure the distance first it have to send the request ftm request okay so then this time starts this is the t1 at the access point this is request then there's a t2 it will reach the point that is called t2 and then when the acknowledgement starts from the phone that is called t3 and when it reaches again the access point that is called t4 so this is ping pong okay so this is the round trip time t4 minus t1 t4 minus t1 minus t3 minus t2 so here you can see the detailed explanation of uh, what is t1 t2 t3 t4. so basically t1 is the time at which frame is transmitted at antenna from source that is you can say station one this is the time t2 where the frame has received here and again when the acknowledgement is transmitted at antenna uh, from the source and uh, T4 this is the time at which acknowledgement is received at antenna from the destination. So in this way this works. So here you can see uh, this MLME this is fine time measurement request when protocol will come or packet will go it's time one then time measurement action frame it will reach the destination that is called t2 then it will intimate to the controller then the indication again the acknowledgement will go that is fine time measurement confirmation okay this is the whole transaction basically this is the request and this is the acknowledgement so this is all about uh, I hope uh, I, I explained you a little bit. So, if you have any questions, comments, you always welcome. Thank you so much.